Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Death Stranding. Oh my god, you guys, you're not gonna believe what happened. You may be wondering what I'm doing here. I don't know if you remember this part. This is where I made the, the zip lines a few episodes ago. Um, yeah, we had uh, some technical difficulties on the last uh, episode. Um, let me explain what happened. Alright, uh, so where I last left off, you guys, I was right here, right? I was right here. I, had to, I was starting to climb up this mountain. Um, on the last recording session, this is what happened, alright? Um, the last recording session, I recorded... Well, I tried to record six episodes, but only five episodes were recorded. The last episode, for some reason, didn't record. I recorded for like um, 50 minutes almost. But for some reason, the, the video didn't save and I didn't end up um, getting that episode. But let me recap what happened on that episode. It was really weird. It was actually kind of boring. Because I was literally just me going up this mountain. I was cursing off this lady the whole way. Because um, my stamina was really low. So I was cursing her. I was like, ah, this is all her fault. This is all her fault. Uh, you know? It was really salty. Me and my saltiest, I think. Uh, some some stuff happened while I was up on this, um, up in this mountain. I found out that there is a, such a thing as uh, snow time fall. It's literally just snow and it has the effects of the rain time fall. And I think it's constantly raining up. Yeah, look, it's constantly snowing up there. Uh, I got through here. We got through some BT territory. We went through that pretty okay. Um, I got to this roboticist. Roboticist. Um, there was a lady and she recycled some stuff for me. I um turned in some lost cargo uh oh and uh, one cool thing about this lady is she gave me some new power legs some brand new power legs these power legs i don't know if i could see them on my person um they're power legs that make that allow me to go through whichever kind of terrain i'm going to going through it's uh it's pretty cool look at that all terrain skeleton it's pretty interesting these uh power legs I was able to go through uh, snow like the, there was no tomorrow. It's pretty good. I made one of those um, floating carrier thingies. And I was able to ride it down the mountain. And with the momentum, it got me all the way down here. And from here, I went over he up here. Went down the mountain. Took the zip line. What's funny is that I was like, oh, look at that. Somebody left um, a zip line right here. Oh, thank you. And I thought it was like an online zip line. But no, it was my zip line. I made this zipline. Remember when I was doing this mission? Um, yeah, I made this. I went. I made this zip. These two zip lines. It's pretty cool. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, while I was up here, yeah, look, you can even see it right there. Um, right here, there's a um, it's a, I don't know what to call it. It's like um a bath. It's a little pool of water, and you can take a bath right there. It's some pretty hot, warm water. Uh, what's really cool is that I, I got here and I was still cursing out that lady and um, I was really low on, on on stamina. I was going, I was running on like a tiny sliver of stamina and I didn't know how I was going to make it through here. That's why I made the floating carrier to get me down this mountain. Uh, but then I saw that there was one of these uh, pools right here and I knew that there was a thing in this game that you can just get inside one of these pools. And I got in. I got on it. In it. It was a pool of water. And it restored my stamina completely. Oh my god. I was just swimming in monster energy drink. I think that's what that was. Just a bunch of monster energy drink. And it restored my, my stamina. It was fantastic. You guys should have been there for it. Um, sadly, you guys will never see that. Um, so... So yeah, I took a bath right there. I got on the floating carrier. I was going down the mountain. I fell off of it one time. I got back on it. And then, you know, recovered my blood supply. And then just went right down the mountain. Oh, it was so beautiful, you guys. It was the happiest I had ever been. Sadly, I lost the footage. Um, oh, um, so then I went to Mama's lab. And we saw a cutscene. We got some uh, 
a new weapon there, spoilers, uh, and uh, some stuff happened, some interesting stuff happened. And I got out, and I was like, all right, let's end the episode right there. And I stopped it, and when I hit stop, it started recording, because I never hit the record button. And um, that's why that video was never recorded. Very sorry to say. Um, anyway, we're here. I loaded back the game, and I could have loaded back the game. And dropped me all the way back over here. But um, I didn't want to do that. So I'm just, uh, I loaded myself back right here. So you guys could see the cutscene that's in uh, Mama's lab. And that's what I'm going to be doing on today's episode. Uh, just going back up this mountain. And, uh, oh my god, I remember this mountain. It's kind of tough getting up this mountain, actually. I'm still kind of sick right now, you guys. I'm going to be editing out all the coughing I'm doing. I sound like an old man right now, you guys. I am so... Well, I'm not sick. I'm just... I'm in the aftermath of the, the worst part of the sickness. I just gotta, you know, contain myself for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Man, but look at these power skeleton legs, you guys. These guys... These are the best power skeleton legs I've ever seen in my life. All right, here's what I'm gonna try to do, you guys. I'm gonna try to parkour my way over there. And try to grab onto the rope. Ah! Uh, oh, it didn't really work. Okay, hang on. Just grab onto the rope. Just grab onto the rope, Sam. Come on, come on. Ugh! I got the rope. I'm I'm spamming, I'm spamming the button to. No, Sam, no! No, my floaty carrier fell. That's how I got through it the first time. Oh, I'm sorry, BB. Uh, oh, this is actually a much better idea. Look at that. I think the last time I recorded this part, um, the first time I went through here, <coughs> when I lost the footage, I was I, ma I managed to make that jump instead of having to go all the way up here. I'm pretty sure I made that jump. Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good. Man, look at my new power legs. Woo! Fantastic. Um, hopefully you guys are doing good. Uh, the last recording session I did, I was getting a little bit better, but the day after, um, the last recording session, I got super sick. I was a little bit sick before, and I was getting better, but after that recording session, I just got super sick. More sick than I haven't been in, in a very long time. I got a terrible fever. Now I had to call in sick at work. It was very embarrassing. The first time I ever call in sick. Uh, I had to go to the doctor. And the doctor said, hey, hey you can't go to work for a whole week. Because you're going to get everybody sick. We have to quarantine you. And um, I had to tell my boss, hey, sorry, can't go to work. Doctor's orders, you know. So, that was fun. Actually, it wasn't fun. It was horrible. It's probably one of the worst experiences of my entire life being sick it's a it's a very interesting cutscene uh, hopefully you guys enjoy I'm just gonna sit back I gotta watch this cutscene again for the second time uh, that'll be nice actually let me look in here real quick I'm kind of curious to see these things I never really pay much attention to these things uh, they might have some interesting stuff some blood wait this is my stuff god damn it I always look at this stuff I'm like, oh, look at that. Yeah, there's some stuff right here. No, that's my stuff. God damn it. I fell for that trick again. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Oh, I looked at the wrong thing again. All right, all right, all right. let's get in here. Let's watch this cutscene. Hello. Thank you. 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 All right, let me get in here, see this cutscene, and then we'll move on with our lives. <clears throat> hey, Mama, I'm back. All right, let me sit back and relax. <clears throat> hey, Sam. Thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. 
They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. There are weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. Ooh. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom. Void off. But, just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So, I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT, and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. I might be doing some pretty good sneaking, you guys. Cord snipping super handcuffs. Right. Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but... All the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lochna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was alright with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lochna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that I could feel hers, and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm. And I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside me. But then, there was the attack, and our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her. But I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. So please, Sam. Do it.
Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth, the light. Touch of the wind, the scent of the world. Lucky you. The two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Alright, so that was the cutscene. This is where I last left off. Uh, at this point, I was like, alright, bye everyone. And then I hit the, the the stop button. And it started because I never started at the beginning. Uh, so yeah, that's what happened with that. Alright, so I don't have footage of um, going uh, this way from the mountain. But I will be having f footage of me going up the mountain to here. Um, yeah, so let's just go right now. Hooray, we're going. Oh, boy. Oh, we got a mini cutscene. No! Fudge! No, leave me alone. It's no biggie. <clears throat> For fudge sakes! No! Get ready, Sam. No! Let's go back! Mother freaking. This is not fair. I wasn't prepared for this. Higgs, you son of a bitch. I'm not in the mood. All you gotta do to make it out alive is not get eaten. Oh, is that all? Oh, okay. I got this, you guys. I mean, I don't have anything to fight him with. <clears throat> I'm sure n nice people will have left stuff for me. Run, Sam, run. run? I don't think we're, we're supposed to run away from these guys. Um. Okay, okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Do I still have... Oh, shit, I don't have anything. Okay. Um. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty sure some people left some stuff for me, yes? Last last boss fight, I have one of these. People left stuff for me. Oh god, he's shooting stuff. He's shooting stuff, sir! Oh god. Come on. Are we supposed to be going this way? Maybe we're not supposed to fight this thing. Maybe we could just run away. No, get away from me. Get away from me, you monster. Freak of nature. Get away from me. Oh, what a son of a bitch. Let's try throwing a stun bomb at him. Hey, big boy. Oh, sh all right. He went away. Oh, gotcha. Take this. It didn't do anything. Oh, here we go. I'm re I think we're out of it. Yeah. Oh, God. All right. That one's... That's a bit of a low blow right there. 
That's a bit of a low blow right there, Higgs. I wasn't ready. I, I was I was carrying a passenger. Oh man, what a son of a bitch this guy, Higgs. Ruining my life. That's what he's doing. All right. Well, I'm consuming some of the some of my goodness right now. All right. That wasn't so bad. I was hoping that um you know like last time we had that ba a battle with that one guy. People left like stuff around like like blood and grenades. Hold on, Sam. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. We got this floating carrier, right? Look at that. Oh, crap. Oh, that's... I think that'll be mule territory right there. We want to be going up, up there. Up, up there. Oh, snap. You ready for this, mama? We're going for a ride. Woohoo! Oh, boy. We're going so fast. Yeah, we're going straight through the water. Come on. A little bit faster. Oh, God. I might have made a bit of a, a mistake right here. Oh, this is no problem. Look at this. We're almost to the other side now. Mama, are you impressed? Oh, no! Mama severely damaged? How damaged is she? Well, that's not too damaged. Calm down. Oh, what what happens if she gets too damaged? Will she just die? I don't want to see that. Then I have to transfer a body. Oh God, corks disposal is the worst. All right, we gotta get around this mountain again. I think we could just make a straight shot though. So let, let's try that right now. Let's plot out the route. Okay. Oh, the way over here. Okay. With these uh, special terrain legs, I think we'll be able to get through it. No problem. Oh, baby's crying. Baby! I gotcha. Get to. We're still on foot. I don't know why I haven't gotten another vehicle. Oh, look at those mules. Poor guys. Those guys are actually pretty easy to beat. It's the terrorists now who are, like, super hard to kill. Gotta beat them senseless. I'm wondering if the other power legs would have been better to bring instead of these because these are a bit slow even though they're like for all types of terrain they're not for speed though I'm still kind of stumbling around too so I don't know and I'm not seeing any like stuff on the floor like there's no lost cargo no um no goodies no one's left me some goodies it's kind of barren out here what the hell it's a barren featureless desert out there what should i do you guys i'm kind of feeling like i should go up to this weather station and resupply there yeah that might be a good idea all right so we'll head for the weather station um maybe the uh what's it called the private room there's a private room over there next to the power uh, uh the weather station we'll go there we will regroup with um uh, what's it called? Mama? Hey, what happens if we go into the private room when I'm holding on to a mama here? Is she gonna be in the private room with us? So many questions, you guys. We gotta answer these questions. Well, as soon as I get to the mountaintop, I'm just gonna get on this floating carrier and go yes. straight down the mountain. I'm there. I'm there, mama. Oh, she's talking. Ah, I saw that bridge. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. Ah. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. Oh man. And yeah, I know how that must sound considering our employer. Hmm. <sighs> I'm scared of the dark too. Oh really? I don't sleep anymore. Oh man. Yeah. Well, Mama, um, such events do come across when um, you have a, such a traumatizing experience as uh, having a um, a bridge fall on top of you. It's understandable. It's understandable. Don't you worry about it. I'm I'm supposedly scared of like touching people or something. That's not even that bad. Like. Being scared of the dark? That's understandable. You can't see what's going on in front of you. In the dark. 
Um, it happens. This is, what, this is what I'm trying to say. It happens. It's not too bad. <clears throat> Man, I'm actually kind of happy about this terrain. Look at this. My power legs have been completely diminished. Uh, Mama? How do you feel about that? Not to worry though, we're about to get inside this uh, private room. Hopefully um, we get in there and everything is pretty good. Yeah. Gonna get in there and everything's gonna be pretty good. Uh, where is the private room? Oh look at that, someone left a the motorcycle there as well. Someone left two motorcycles. Oh man, it's fantastic. Alright, you ready for this, uh, mama? We're about to get inside the private room. Yeah. Private room. Get inside the private room. Geronimo! <clears throat> oh my god, it's the end of another episode. Alright, that's where I'm going to end it for today. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. On the next episode, I'm going to ga um, gather up my strength and uh, get some monster energy drink. All that uh, usual stuff. I'm actually kind of curious to see where um, mom Mama is right now. Is she just going to be like in the bed next to me or sitting in the chair over there reading a book? No? Maybe? Sam, where'd you put Mama? Oh, snap! I gotta test out those cufflings as well. Almost forgot about that. I gotta sneak up on, on someone and then boom! No? Okay. She's not in this room. Ah, oh, that's fine. Um, oh, look at that. I can't do a fragile jump. Freaking disgusting. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. Like I said, uh, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye.